Lee Ann Belter Bridal, found exclusively at Anya Collection in the heart of downtown Portland. Timeless. Elegant. Classic. Portland's most spacious classic car. Book your service now at bestcarintown.com. Hi, I'm Eric with Weddings Portland Style and today we are here at Holland Studios and we are with the uncommonly talented Cherie Ronning of Uncommon Invites. Welcome. Thank you and good morning. Well, good morning to you and tell me what is Uncommon Invites? Well, we're an invitation company that came about because we found that there's not enough unique properties in Portland that we could use to sort of get the style going for your wedding. Mm -hmm. Most brides go to Costco or they look online and they say, okay, this invitation looks great, but then it arrives and the paper is a very poor quality. We like to say that the expectation for the event arrives with the invitation. So I'm going to show you a couple of save the date announcements we created this year. And this one is very cute. Uh -huh. He asked her to marry me and she said yes. That's great. But this one has four photos, hot pink, save the date, invitation to follow. And if you got this one or this one, well, you'd probably save you would, the date that, for that this pops. one. It really does. It really does. Well, what is the protocol for creating a style of invitation that a couple would want for their wedding? Well, I think it depends on where the wedding is being held. If it's a formal wedding in one of our downtown hotels, a church or a synagogue, um, obviously you want to have a formal invitation with a response card and those types of things that are just mandatory today. Correct etiquette, of course, we will help you with, which is not what you're going to get when you go to Costco or order online. If you're getting married at the Mount Hood Bed and Breakfast or uh, some place that is like a family uh, courtyard or a big picnic area, then maybe you might want to have a more casual invitation, even as casual as an Evite invitation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is the difference uh, that you see for the quality or the style of an Evite versus a custom invitation that you can do? Well, of course, an Evite would be just something that came across their computer screen, and maybe your grandmother doesn't even have <laughs> a computer screen for it to come across. True. And then you're asking people to respond that they're coming um, just by uh, signing back on online and sending mm -hmm. their their um, reply. However, when we're doing an invitation where we want to have an actual account for your caterer, um, maybe you're having some entree choices, Uncle Vinny wants salmon, Auntie Susie wants beef. We can't do all that without having an actual True. response card. So True. that's where we're headed with that. And today, the What's available online, there's some cute things, but what's available when you're doing custom is just over the top. We use fabulous papers from all around the world. We use almost exclusively Midori ribbon, which was created by a woman in Seattle. All beautiful double-faced satins and beautiful uh, grow grains and organzas. Wonderful. We hand set Swarovski crystals on our product. We can do letterpress. We do a lot of invitations that open and have our fun cards. This is a great way when people have a lot of information that they want to um, get to their guests. It can have all the transportation information and those kinds of things Wonderful. included. Well, what is a budget? I mean, where's the starting budget and what's an average budget for a custom invitation set? Well, custom invitation set, something like this, Eric, is going to start in the $8 to $10 range and it's based on color and the type of product, the number of inserts we're doing, and then what type of embellishments we're doing. Um, if we add printing and thermography, which is the raised printing, that's going to increase our cost. If we go to letterpress, which is hand done, then of course that's gonna raise our cost again. And then if we're adding crystals, those types of things, yes, that's going to add. There's so many choices in here. The book is amazing. How can a bride really personalize this process to make it just so personal for her day? Well, everybody has kind of a theme, whether they realize it or not. This gal, her theme was kind of this little flower, and we used the butterfly stamp, which was great. Same invitation style, much more formal. This actually, the little flower design was created from the embroidery mm. from the bridesmaid's dress. Same style invitation. It's the castle in Scotland where they were engaged. Terrific. 
And then I always suggest to brides that when you're doing a custom invitation or a very heavy invitation, that you should take the time to take your wedding invitations to Bridal Veil Falls in the gorge and hand cancel them with a rubber stamp. That's great. And it just they, keeps them from going through the machine and damaging the, the invitations, but it also gives them that plain little touch. That it's is excellent. pretty sweet. Well, obviously there's so much information. How can they begin? How can they get a hold of you and find out more? Well, they can call us 1-800-676-3030, and that's Uncommon Invites. They can go to our website, uncommoninvites.com. Well, that's terrific. Well, thank you, Cherie, for your expertise. You're welcome. We're going to stay here for a little while longer and look at this amazing world of custom invitations. You can also go to the website, weddingsportlandstyle.com, for more information and a link to Cherie, and we'll be right back after the break. Thanks for joining us today. To find out more information about any of the vendors you've seen on today's show, visit our brand new website at WeddingsPortlandStyle.com. While you're there, you can click on clips and see any of the segments you also want to see again. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week.